Sally, we're going to continue talking here. Okay. We're, we're still rolling right for everybody out there viewing good. Um, cutting out my own commercials for my own videos, <laughs> talking about this stuff. It's so important. We're, we're going to have about five minutes left when we get back. But, Shelly, uh, powderburns.org, people need to support you. Uh, we'll, we'll plug that at, uh, at the end in the book, okay. Powder Burns. Buying the book supports you, whatever you can do, listeners. And I really appreciate the listeners. I hate to come to you for this, but, but we're trying to support Selly, and, and he's a great guy, and he's, he's taken a lot of risks doing this. He's been threatened to expose government drug dealing. When they arrested him, they brought up American Drug War, uh, which he's a big part of and consulted on and in. Uh, but Selly, just in the three minutes we got before we come back, there's a big audience listening right now on the web and watching us uh, on the webcam. Uh, any other points you want to add? No, certainly. Uh, I just hope that uh, you guys continue to... Uh to help me out financially and, and, and your prayers I I strongly appreciate uh, that but it's gonna be a time where uh, letters are gonna be submitted uh, when I go to court and uh, you know the judge is supposed to be a very fair judge and hopefully and certainly hope that uh, if he does we have a letter campaign uh, on letters uh, we'll we'll get up there and and have you guys uh, send letters uh, and appreciating the fact that uh, what I've done for you guys in for the past years well, Shelly, we appreciate you. And I mean, do these cops and BATF do they have any shame how they're setting you up? Uh, absolutely not. They they think it's uh, I'm going to lay down and 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 roll over for them. When so I think it's another big win. It's another big win for them. And like I've said uh, to them, I was a big trophy, and they've been hunting me for quite a while. It's, it reminds me of that big deer with a with a big stack horns on him that uh, they everybody's been after for so long, and they finally got him, but uh, he's wounded, not dead. So, you know, they, they think that, uh, and it doesn't surprise me, they'll come back with more charges or amend my uh, indictment just to, to put more pressure on me to, uh, uh, to plea out. I'm going from memory a week ago or so, but didn't they threaten you that to plea or they'd stack more? Well, that's basically what happened. I, I had, on the plea bargain, I had about 20 guns to it, and then all of a sudden when I got indicted, it's 35 guns. They're charging me with every gun that that guy bought, you know, and it, there's no proof on a lot of those guns that uh, you, you can't prove it. You know, you go, they're going back for a but, year. But, but again, it's not even illegal what you did. They well, selectively enforced They selectively enforced me, and, and yet there's people out there at the gun shows doing doing the same thing uh, that they've been doing for years, yet they'll, they'll select uh, people like me that are mostly uh, ex-law enforcement. And to them, an ex-law enforcement is, is a big trophy. Well, it's like, I'm not saying you did anything wrong, but in another case, a guy that they had running a private prison in, in Afghanistan where they torture people to death under orders, now the memos are public and that Bush ordered it's public, and they were going to send a guy to prison, and the guy said, I've got the orders. And they seized him under Patriot Act, wouldn't allow him defense, and sent their own torturer to prison, gagging him and not letting him defend himself under a terrorist statute, and now it's all come out. So here, you, you've done nothing in there. Why do they love burning their own? Well, it's because um, they're trying to say that they're doing their own laundry uh, in-house, when in fact they're... they're Everybody, it's you know, it's like toilet paper. They use you. Uh, you know, you do uh, do the best thing you can for your country. And uh, you know, one of the things that I did that I'm not, uh, you know, when I trained all that squads, you know, I kept pictures, I kept documents, I I kept journals because that's going to be my defense of what they had asked me to do uh, for my government. And and you know, they can actually come back and prosecute me for that, and and that'd be it. You know, but I I have exposed them from the get go and I will continue to do the same thing uh, there will be okay, no we gotta winners go, we gotta one. go back on air right now here we go final segment with Sella Castillo an intense news blitz for the final 30 minutes of the show coming up in the next segment Sally, we're talking about how these guys feel good persecuting you and hopping things up against you, cooking them up. Um, on a lighter note, what do you think of uh, the final edition of American Drug War that's aired over 50 times on Showtime? The cops that set you up uh, for you basically laughed about it. So, so that means it's getting out there. I'm, I'm hearing a buzz everywhere. Uh, about the film, give us uh, your take on that. Well, it's an excellent uh, tape. Not to blow my horn on, because I'm uh, in the in the uh, the thing here, uh, the the DVD. But it's for the first time ever. We have the director of the of the DEA admitting that the CIA 
ran, ran drugs back in the 80s from Central America. We had CIA agents, uh, McFarlane, out of Honduras, uh, who shipped uh, large quantities of cocaine, over a thousand kilos, to the U.S. Uh, to profit the covert operations that are being conducted by uh, by the CIA. Uh, you know, Noriega, you know, everybody's admitting to the whole thing. Noriega's being denied a part, uh, not a pardon, but a, a release from prison because George Harbor Bush is scared that uh, he might spill the guts, uh, his guts out on, on what he knows of what he did with uh, with uh, our government back in, back in the 80s. Well, I hope people will get it at InfoWars.com. It's not in stores until uh, May 24th. But I have a deal with a filmmaker because I consulted on it, as you did, that we are selling it now uh, at Infowars.com, where you can call 888-253-3139 to get American Drug War. Uh, it's got three hours of extras. I mean, you're going to have a master's degree on how they bring it in, how they control it, how it's a fraud, how prescription drugs kill a lot more, how alcohol kills hundreds of thousands than marijuana. It is just such an important film, uh, really a masterpiece, almost five years in the making by Kevin Booth. I started working on him, uh, working with Kevin on this five years ago. Of course, 90% of it, 98% of it was his work. I was just honored to be involved with it. And again, available at InfoWars.com. Silly, in closing, uh, one way people can support you and get your book, well, you got like 300, 400 copies left. When it's gone, it's out of print. Powder burns. The story of the government dealing the drugs, you witnessing it. it, it's a read you can't put down. And if people will just buy it from you, that will help you try to pay for the lawyer and beat these people. That way they can donate and actually get something back. Can you comment on that? Absolutely. Uh, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, I got about 300 copies left. And, um, uh, you know, I do want to sell them so I could get my financial support for my attorney and my defense, my legal defense. Um, and go to my website, powderburns.org, or, or you can email me directly at powderburns at prodigy.net. And I'll now, to be clear, it. last week people had to call you or get your address to send you checks. Uh, now you've got a donation PayPal at powderburns.org. Exactly. It's it's a link there, and you can go straight to it, and uh, I'll ship you out the uh, uh, the books. Um, and whatever donations, I always send a thank you card for it also. Yeah, I got and, a thank you card from you, Sally. By the way, I don't want thank you cards from you. <laughs> okay. You're too busy fighting for your life and yeah. your family right now, and we appreciate your courage. Well, thank you, sir. So just don't don't worry about sending me a thank you card. I got your thank you card. Okay. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. In fact, it's right here on my desk. Look right here. Got uh, Shelly's thank you card right here. Very, very nice little thank you card. It's powder burns. Yep. And uh, got, got me a little thank you thing here from the, from the front from the book. Uh, thank you uh, from my heart. Uh, sent, sent that out right after the show, April eighth. Uh, Shelly, you got three minutes left or a minute and a half. Anything else you want to add? No. Uh, just uh, your prayers will certainly be appreciated. Um, uh, I've gotten a lot of prayers from a lot of people, uh, a lot of uh, prayer books, a lot of, uh, you know, you can tell that the American people are very, very sincere. I got over 50 letters of people trying, uh, supporting me, uh, sending me donations, uh, little donations, but uh, they mean everything, and also the purchase of the books. Uh, like I said, I got plenty of books, and I still need a lot of financial help. And one real fast thing, I need somebody to donate a tractor trailer, a little riding lawnmower tractor, because I'm going to be doing a pilgrimage all the way from McAllen to San Antonio in protest with PTSD for veterans. And um, I'm trying to get an old tractor so I can write it up here. It's going to take me three or four days and hopefully uh, bring awareness to the you veterans. You want somebody to loan you a, a farm trailer because it'll get a lot of attention. A, a little, yeah, a little tractor trailer or, or riding lawnmower, something that I that I can actually drive all the way from Mac Allen into San Antonio with a banner saying, you know, support uh, veterans with PTSD. Well, and they should go with you and support you and exactly. maybe videotape and put it on YouTube exactly. to bring attention. Well, uh, Sally, give out your phone number. My number is 956-345-5770. Once again, 956-345-5770. Sally, I want to thank you for spending time with us. Thank you, Alex, for having me. It's an honor to be with you. You bet. Thank you, my friend. And we'll have Sally in uh, every month or so as this uh, case of political uh, persecution intensifies, and they've told him they were going to get him for his political activities here in the land of the cowards, home of the slaves. Hopefully we can change that back to what we once were. We've never been perfect, but we are very shameful today. But thank you for all your support of Sally. News Blitz straight ahead. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire. Sally, thanks right. for coming in, Yes, man. sir. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks, thanks, man. Okay. I'll, I'll come back to you and let you know. God bless.